Hey guys, this is Lumi Apide, and we're going to take a look at the Incognito browser. This is it already started, as you can see we've got mynokiablog.com loaded up. If we press menu, here's the tile I've put for the Incognito browser. And now you'll see there is no sign that I was previously on mynokiablog.com. That's the actual point of the browser. It is a simple and fast web browser, which has one main feature, which is that it doesn't store cookies or browsing history. So whatever situation or need you might have not to store cookies or browsing history, then this is um, a browser to go and download. This is free, as you can see, it's uh, ad, ad funded at the top. Um, we shall try to load up my Naki blog again. You'll notice that it will not recommend it as a site that we've previously been on because it does not save that data. The reviews are all saying that this is a fast web browser. You can see that loading up my Naki blog pretty quickly. Well, relatively quickly um, compared to other browsers. It's possibly comparable in speed to the default one, maybe slightly faster on more optimized websites. That's all we can find. Let's um, take a look at bbc.co.uk. And then, as you see, even within the same session, it will not suggest to me my Nokiblog.com as it would with the default browser. Something else to look at is the address bar. Instead of searching with Bing, it will search, or it should search with Google. So this is the Google search result. Try that again. So for this alone, maybe some of you might prefer to have this on the home screen. Let's look at it trying to load up Nokia Conversations. Here it is working in um, landscape. Did I type wrong? So even conversations is loading up pretty quickly on this. And the ads seem to have disappeared in the landscape and they appear back in portrait. If you um, exit out to multitask, it exits. So, um, don't know if that's meant to be a feature, as maybe if you leave the session, you might forget that it's open. So let's say we have that site and you're looking for a gift for your uh, spouse or whatever you try to do something else and then you try to go back to it if you've left it on the screen you can still see like thumbnail what it was supposed to be but if you go back to it it closes so I think that must be a feature rather than a bug so okay that was the uh, Incognito browser demoed on the Nokia Lumia 800.